Aloha. Back at Kalapaki Bay, I'm going to do Change Your Life Part 2. There's been a lot of comments and observations, so we need a whole nother video. So I wanted to talk today about excuses and being uncomfortable. <laughs> so when you come up with an excuse for not doing something, it always works. So whatever excuse you have, and I'm including myself in this too. <laughs> um, I've had my excuses too, and uh, I'm having less of them because I realize that as soon as I have an excuse, it's because I don't want to be uncomfortable. So here's what to do about that. Okay, so the excuses. You're always going to have an excuse. We're always... Our egos are always thinking of ways that something won't work, don't try that, it's new, you'll fail. You know, so what? Um, yeah, it is uncomfortable. And you can get too comfortable. I know that I have, and it's something to work on in everyday life, being uncomfortable. Because being uncomfortable actually is where the magic happens. Because... If you know in your heart to go after something or to go a certain way, but it feels uncomfortable, shift for the light. I bet it's the right thing because I'm going to shift again. I am at the bay for the sunset. Um, so the thing is, uncomfortableness. Let's get back to that. There is uncomfortableness in making choices in life and um, I got a note today about uh, a person wanting to launch their lives and I actually get several letters from people that want to do it but then they don't do it um, and I want to address that right now because talking about something and thinking about it really does take energy away from actually doing the thing even if you uh, failed it would be better to do it than to think and talk about it because then all your energy goes to that and what if scenarios and everything and I think um, in many cases when people come up with excuses it's because we're comfortable where we are so we don't want to try anything new to take a chance on because we might fail so, um, yeah, we don't know what's going to happen. There's that unknown. So, I think this, well, I know this. Getting older, you can choose between comfort, and many people choose comfort over taking risks. I take risks, and I still do. And I actually um, feel that I've taken more risks the older I get without knowing what's going to happen. So, you know, you can get complacent in your um, rent-controlled apartment or your relationship that you know isn't really the one, but it's comfortable, so you stay in it because um, all your bills are paid. Um, or, let's see, you don't move because it would be scary. Um, you know, there's just so many excuses. And all of them are going to come true. <laughs> if you come up with an excuse why you can't do something. It will always work. So consider that. Um, when I first started traveling, uh, I didn't get a lot of uh, positive reinforcement for it. So uh, people thought I was crazy. Um, and then, you know, some people did. But you can't rely on what people think. You have to do it because you know you have to so the here's the tip when you're going to do something that you know is uncomfortable and it's new don't tell everybody because it kind of takes the energy away from it and uh, many people will try and talk you out of it that's not why you're telling them <laughs> you're you're probably telling them just because you want to hear yourself say that you're doing this new thing and, and you're hoping for some positive encouragement you don't always get it um, when or before my first book got published I stopped telling people I was writing because I, I didn't tell anybody because when I told people they'd immediately think um, 
well, where you published, you know, they think that you're supposed to be a best-selling author. Well, you can't be when you're writing your first book. <laughs> you can envision being one, but it's very uh, daunting to tell someone you're writing, and it's so tender and new and beautiful, and then they want to know how you've achieved. See, so don't don't tell everybody your plans. Um, because if you're not strong enough to hold yourself in that place of knowing that's the right thing to do, maybe you're not too sure of it yet, don't tell people because in that wavery baby step place that we all find ourselves when we do new things, I'm not always sure and positive and strong. I, a lot of times, yes, I am, but other times I'm shaky and and uh, falling down and taking the wrong step. So you just pick yourself up and go again. And so let me leave you with this. Don't tell everybody. Keep it in your heart and soul. And, and it will blossom into something beautiful. And you can change your life. Yes, you can. Questions, comments below. Happy to talk with you. And thank you, uh, the girl that wrote in about ask me if she should go to college. I said no. <laughs> I feel that college is pretty much only for doctors and lawyers. Um, I'm sure people will disagree with me, but you don't have to go to college. I will leave you with this. Live from your heart. Keep those beautiful secrets that maybe you don't want to share yet inside your spirit. And I'll see you in the next video. Aloha.